Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at writing equations of transformed absolute value functions. Let's get started. We want to write a function based on the given parent function and transformations that are given in this order. The parent function for our first example is f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. The first thing that's going to happen is it's going to stretch vertically by a factor of 3. So the first thing that's going to happen, I'm going to rename it, right, because we're changing this function. It's no longer f. We're going to call it g. Stretching vertically by 3 means that we're going to have a 3 in front of our absolute value. So I'm just going to kind of set it up here. And then reflect in respect to the x-axis means that we're going to have a negative in front of that 3. That's how we would reflect about the x-axis. And then shift 2 units to the left. How do we shift to the left? That means something's happening within the absolute value. Right, this would be this indicates to us that we have h is equal to negative 2. And what we're talking about inside this is going to be h, uh, x minus h. So this would be x minus negative 2. Or we would say that that's x plus 2. So inside we would say x plus 2. It doesn't give us anything about there must be no vertical transformation. So this would be our brand new function based on these three factors. In our last example, we have f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. So we're going to change this, and what we're looking for are four key things. So first it says reflect to, uh, in respect to the x-axis. That's going to indicate a negative in front of our absolute value. Okay, I don't see anything about a stretch or a shrink, so actually I can kind of squash this closer together. These last two deal with shifting in the coordinate plane. So this says shift three units to the left. That indicates that h is equal to negative 3, and we want to plug this in. This is 8x minus h, so we plug in h, which is negative 3. That's x minus negative 3, and we would end up with x plus 3 inside the absolute value, x plus 3. And then, so this is done, and this is done, shifting down 4 units, so this indicates to us that k is negative 4. So when we plug it in here, this is, oops, sorry, plus k. Uh, we plug in k, which is negative 4. Well, that would be plus ne negative, which we would just say is minus. We're going to plug in minus 4. And this would be the equation for the function with those three changes from our parent function, f of x equals the absolute value of x. These have been examples of looking at transformations and writing the equations based on those transformations. Thank you for stopping.